Hey guys, it's Gingerly and welcome to today's video. So today we are renovating in The Sims 3. Now, um, I believe this house is called August Moon. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, obviously you'll see by the title. <laughs> um, yeah, so this renovation is going to be a little bit different because I actually really liked how the outside of the house looked and I didn't really feel like that needed to be changed. So the outside of the house is the exact same. I didn't touch um, the outside at all. Like the garden still the same. Not that I ever show that in um, videos anyway, but uh, yeah, it's all, all still the same. So I just redid the inside a bit. So yeah. Um, okay, so I should probably mention while I'm, like, before I get into this properly, um, I kind of change up the feel of this house a little bit midway. Um, I started off wanting it to be quite, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I want to say cold, but not cold, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted it to, like, feel quite luxurious and not like I wanted it to be very 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 contemporary and have it just feel almost kind of like nobody lives there if that makes sense but people do you know it just looks very um for show sort of but I do end up changing it a little bit um like it still has that feel but I added a lot more color midway um this is actually quite colorful so yeah, at the beginning it all looks quite um, grey and I don't want to say dull, but kind of. <laughs> so yeah, um, I wanted this living room to feel like super, super um, large and I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know, I didn't put much furniture in it. Like I definitely could have used the space um, a lot more like effectively, I guess, if I wanted to put more furniture in or whatever but I just wanted it to feel really really big and spacious so that's kind of what I did um now I think apart from like one wall I didn't touch the layout at all um did I say that right <laughs> the layout <laughs> um anyway um because we have this like awkward corner I don't know you can kind of see it um in the living area like I felt like it was just a bit too bare I don't know <laughs> so I was like oh I think I need to um you know kind of make it into a room or something so I decided to like um turn it into an office just because I felt like that would be a good um space for an office so yeah so here I just um, changed out the door frame because I wasn't too fond of the other one. I don't know. It just didn't really fit the, the style of the house that I was going for. Um, yeah, so here I'm just building um, the office, which I think helps bring, I don't know, I think it just uses the space more effectively and it makes the living room not look as gigantic and awkward <laughs> so yeah just um putting in the office and I think at this point I kind of decided that I wanted whoever was living here um to you know be the type of people that work from home um I'm not sure if I had decided what they were going to be doing um but I pretty much ended up deciding that they were going to be people that um kind of work in the art industry so um either they um like both are artists or like one sells art and the other one makes the art <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this but um pretty much they have a lot of artwork within their home and that's kind of what I um like designed everything around if that makes sense so right now you can't really tell because I haven't like gone through and really done that I mean I have like a few pieces of art but um it does change so yeah just wait and see for that but um no I I definitely like how this um like turned out I mean it was a bit like 
confusing for me like I don't know at the start I was like not sure but then once I get to the dining room it all just like sparks <laughs> the ideas start flowing so um yeah no nah, it, it all worked out well but yeah um I think because this house is so I don't want to say like big but it's very different to any of the other houses that I have renovated like I think most of the other ones have been more like family homes, so I feel like they're a little bit easier to, um, like renovate, <laughs> um, but I wanted to try something a bit different, so I don't know how I, like, if I think it turned out, like, amazingly, but I don't know, let me know what you think, because I'm very interested to know. So I wanted this kitchen to feel quite luxurious, obviously, because that's kind of like the theme of the house. Um, I don't know what exactly like here I was trying to kind of have a like a diagonal island but then I didn't like how um like I don't know it just it didn't work the way I wanted to so I wanted to create a, a large island so that you know it fills up the space a bit just because it is a very big kitchen so yeah um just trying to get it to work because this was not working well but yeah I think I move it up a bit though I don't know I guess we'll find out yeah I do so yeah and um the kitchen as I said like as with the rest of the house that I've done so far it looks quite plain to start off with um which I mean it works as well but I feel like the whole house feels very cold that's like the only thing that I would have to say um and so I think having a bit of color in the house in the end really helps to um I don't know just give it a bit more personality and life so I had all these um cabinets here and I wasn't really like I thought it was too much the kitchen just looked way too like cramped sort of so um I decided just to do one wall and I actually like how that looks and then to put some um some artwork on the other one um I was thinking of doing shelves but I didn't like how they looked either so <laughs> artwork it is and just putting some little bar stools um I wasn't really sure what kind of um I guess theme I wanted to go for here um because there's obviously not a lot of like black in this kitchen but I thought some black would be good um I do end up changing the stools a bit though so um yeah it's kind of exciting <laughs> so yeah just oh I really like these um pieces of art I think they're very nice and they do go well in the kitchen and I think it also helps um to like tie in those stools a bit you know with the the black legs so yeah and I did something very different with those um stoves slash ovens um I don't know I just felt like it would be kind of fun to put them over there like obviously if this was a real kitchen this would be like super inconvenient <laughs> but um I don't know I thought it was just a bit different so you know this house is, you know, obviously kind of fancy, like it's not just your average house and so, I don't know, I thought why not do something a little bit, I wouldn't say it's like fancier but I don't know, just a bit different. So in this, um, this is the dining room, I kept the walls white um, just because I felt like that works out the best um, and then I draw in a lot of color through other elements of the room so it all sparked my interest with these chairs and once I had put them in there I was like oh shit now the rest of the house just like this doesn't go you know the rest of the house is also like black and white but I didn't really find any um, like dining chairs that I super loved um, that like worked with that and so I, I really liked those chairs and so I was like okay I'm gonna have to like go back and redo what I've already done or at least like add some other things into it because I thought this looked so cool and then I add in elements of blue as well which I think ugh, just looks so good um, I was just like in love 
And because this room was so big, I wanted to put some um, like drawers against the wall just because I feel like, you know, storage is always great and it just adds, um, you know, some more stuff to the room so it doesn't feel as, you know, huge and empty. So yeah. And then I think we add in a few final touches. Yes, like that, um, I don't know, painting art. <laughs> I love that. It looks so good. And I think it just ties the room all together like perfectly. Oh, I love it so much. This is probably my favorite room in the entire house, honestly. I think it looks so good. And then I wanted to put a bit of greenery in there as well, just because I feel like that always, um, I don't know. It just adds another element. So yeah, just put a few little plants. I just completely stuttered then. <laughs> plants. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, and then just trying to find something to put on the table because I thought it looked a little bit bare. So yeah, and now I go back and I'm like, okay, I need to fix this. <laughs> so um, I looked through and kind of found whatever I could that worked and I found these gorgeous um, pieces of art and I was like yes they look good and so then I decided to match the stools um, changing the colors to like all different ones that kind of related to the artwork and I think they look so good oh my god I love it obviously this is not everybody's cup of tea I mean you know there are a lot of different colors throughout the whole house but I figured if these people are really into art um, you know, why not? So I get like a lot of people, this would be like way too much color, <laughs> um, for most people, but you know, that's fine. Um, I think it's fun sometimes to incorporate, um, color into builds, um, you know, just to experiment a bit. So now this is the bathroom and this I think is just, I end up going with white walls too as well, yeah. So I kept this pretty simple. I didn't want to make it like too crazy. Um, it's just pretty much black and white, I think, besides the piece of art that I put in there, which I don't know if that's normal. Like, do people put artwork in their bathrooms? I guess so, right? I don't know. But um, I usually always do that in my builds just because I feel like it looks too bare otherwise but yeah so I do put a huge purple um artwork piece of art in this um bathroom <laughs> which you know might be a bit weird but oh well so yeah just figuring out the layout of this room and all that and this shower is custom content as is most of the stuff I have used today um, but yeah I'm pretty sure my last video uh, was base game only so if you're into that um, yeah feel free to check that out <laughs> but yeah um, yeah, now I think I was just trying to figure out like whether I wanted to add some more purple into this room because I knew that I wanted to use that piece of art, but I decided no. <laughs> so now we are upstairs and um, yeah, that room was really weird, that little room. But anyway, um, we have this um, very big hallway and I didn't know what I wanted to put in there at first. Um, so I kind of just put in I think a bookshelf and a little chair and I make this hallway kind of like a pink theme um, just because I had a really nice um, pink artwork that I wanted to use so yeah there's a bit of pink so mm -hmm. yes <laughs> but um, yeah I get this house is literally like a rainbow like every room has a different color but I think that can be kind of fun I mean you know, each room is kind of separated as to like which color. So it's not like the whole house is a rainbow, like all at once, if that makes sense. I don't know, but I think it looks good. Yes. So I just put like a little bit of like a reading nook just because I feel like 
when people put them in houses, like, does anyone even sit there ever? Like, probably not, but they look cute, so, <laughs> yeah. Now we're onto this little weird awkward room, um, and I decided that I wanted this to be, like, a, a studio, um, for, you know, the people that live here, because they're an artist, um, or at least, you know, one of them is, like, I don't know, I didn't really, like, think about it too much, I just was like, yeah, they're into art, at least one of them makes art, and another one probably sells it, so yeah, just, I put up some, like, random artwork on the walls, and yeah, just put two, um, what are they called? Easels, is that what they're called? I don't know, whatever. Okay, so now we are on to the last room for this video. Um, I did cut out the master bath, the, the master bathroom, <laughs> I almost said master bedroom, no, bathroom, um, just because it literally is the exact same as the other bathroom downstairs, like I just, yeah, put the exact same stuff in there, so it's kind of pointless. Um, but yeah, this bedroom I love a lot. Um, I did keep the colours slightly more neutral, like it is still kind of colourful, um, but instead of using extremely vivid colours, I used kind of like a peach colour, which I think is a bit more, um, I don't know, suitable for a bedroom. I mean, not to say that like vivid colours aren't good or anything, but I don't know, I felt like this made it a little bit more like romantic or something. I don't know. It just... I think it looks good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the colour that I kind of used as a theme, I guess, <laughs> for this room. Um, but yeah, uh, this bedroom is huge, which is kind of good. I, I enjoy um, furnishing larger bedrooms. I think it's kind of like, it's a bit more fun than just like a tiny bedroom where you just put like a bed and nightstands and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I I like doing this and I just put in, you know, a, a couch and, you know, a TV and all that. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the end of today's video. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, be sure to uh, give the video a like. And if you want to see more videos, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I do put out new videos every uh, Friday, um, I guess Thursday as well, depending on where you live. <laughs> um, but yeah, here in Australia, it's Friday. <laughs> so yeah, um, I also do um, builds as well as renovations. So if you are interested in that, yeah, make sure to subscribe so that you can um, watch them. <laughs> Oh, so awkward. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!